January 2nd, 2015 from Amon G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas was the Armed Forces Bowl between the Houston Cougars and the Pittsburgh Panthers. And the Panthers would get the ball first. They had it on their own 22 after the opening kickoff. But after seven plays, they would end up punting from their own 42. So now the Cougars would take over on their own 14 after the punt with 11 minutes still on the clock in the first. But after eight plays, they would end up punting from the pit 35. So they got all the way down into the pit territory. But then after a sack on third and nine, that would bring them back words and then a penalty. And so they ended up punting. So now Pittsburgh would have the ball backed up against their own end zone on their own 8-yard line after the punt was 6 minutes still on the clock in the first. They'd bring the ball to the midfield and into Houston territory. They got all the way down to the red zone. They were faced with a 3rd and 3 on the Houston 12, and they gave it to Chad Wojtek. He picked up 3 yards in the first down that made a 1st and goal on the 9 and also brought the first quarter to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was still tied up at 0. So now to begin the second quarter, it was first and goal on the nine for the Panthers. They gave it to James Conner. He picked up seven yards and then another yard on second down. And now it was third and goal on the one. They gave it back to James Conner. He punched it in for a touchdown from a yard out to put the first points on the scoreboard. As It was now Pittsburgh 7, Houston 0. So now the Cougars would get the ball after the kickoff on their own 25 with about 14 minutes left before halftime. They went three and out and punted from their own 32. So now the Panthers would take over on their own 26 after the punt with 12 and a half left in the second quarter. They would go three and out as well and end up punting from their own 33. So now the Cougars would take over on their own 24 with a little less than 12 minutes left on the clock in the second. They would move the ball to midfield and into Pittsburgh territory. They got all the way down to the two-yard line and on third and goal from the two. Kenneth Farrow punched it in from two yards out. They ended up having the extra point blocked though and so it would be a one point game with the score Pittsburgh 7, Houston 6. So now Pittsburgh could get the ball after the kickoff with a little less than six minutes left before halftime. They had it on their own 30. They'd bring the ball to midfield. They got it into Houston territory and they got all the way into the red zone, and on first and 10 from the 12, Isaac Bennett ran it in from 12 yards out for the touchdown to extend the Panthers' lead to eight. So now it was 14 to six, Pittsburgh over Houston. So now the Cougars would get the ball on their own 15 after the kickoff with about a minute and a half left before halftime. They'd end up going three and out, and they punted from their own 30. Actually, they didn't go three and out. They got a first down, and then they ended up punting from their own 30 after four plays on the possession. So now Pittsburgh would take over after the punt on their own 37 with about a half a minute still on the clock. And on first and 10 from the 37, Chad Wojcik hit Kevin Weatherspoon for a 13-yard reception, a first down at the 50. Wojcik then went back to Weatherspoon. He picked up 16. It was now a first down on the 34. Then they spiked the ball and then an incomplete pass. And now, with just seconds left on the clock, they would bring out Chris Bulett to attempt a 52-yard field goal. It was up and it was good. And so now it was Pittsburgh 17, Houston 6, going into the locker rooms at halftime. So now to begin the second half, Houston with the ball first. They had it on their own 17 after the kickoff. After five plays, though, they ended up punting from their own 31. So now the Panthers would take over on their own nine-yard line after the punt with 12 minutes on the clock in the third quarter. They brought the ball to midfield and into Houston territory. They got into the red zone, and on first and 10 from the 16, Chad Wojtek hit J.P. Holtz for a 16-yard touchdown. And it was now Panthers up by 18 with the score Pittsburgh 24, Houston 6. So now the Cougars would get the ball on their own 10-yard line with about five minutes left in the third. But after four plays, they ended up punting from their own 20. So now the Panthers got the ball back after the punt. They had it on their own 38 with about four minutes left in the third. They would bring the ball to midfield and into Houston territory. And on third and three from the 27, Chad Wojtek hit Tyler Boyd for a 12-yard reception to make it a first down in the red zone on the 15. That also brought the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, the score was Pittsburgh 24, Houston 8. 18, or Houston 6 as they trailed by 18 rather but to open up the fourth quarter now it was first and 10 on the 15 for the Panthers and James Conner ran for three yards and then Wojtek hit Ibrahim for seven yards and now it was first and goal on the five they gave it to James Conner and he punched in from five yards out and it was now a 25 point lead for the Panthers with the score Pittsburgh 31 Houston 6 so now the Cougars would get the ball on their own 14 after the kickoff with 14 minutes left to play down by 25. 
they would be faced with a third and three from the 21. And Craig Ward Jr. picked up 31 yards on the ground as he brought the ball to midfield and into Pittsburgh territory with the ball now on the 48 for the first down. And then Greg Ward Jr. ended up hitting Stephen Dunbar for a 13-yard reception to make it a first down on the 35. They then gave it to Kenneth Farrow. He picked up 17 yards and a first down in the red zone at the Pittsburgh 18. But then Greg Ward Jr. was sacked by Rory Blair. So now it's second and 14. An incomplete pass will bring up third and 14 from the 22. Greg Ward Jr. dropped back and he hit Deontay Greenberry for a 14-yard reception. It was now first and goal on the 8. They gave it to Kenneth Farrow and he ran it in for the touchdown. And it was now Pittsburgh 31, Houston 13. So now Pittsburgh got the ball with a little less than 11 minutes left on the clock after the kickoff. They had it on their own 29. They would move the ball to midfield and get into Houston territory. They got all the way down to the red zone. Their drive stalled on the 11-yard line, and they brought out Chris Blewett to attempt a 29-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And it was now Pittsburgh 34, Houston 13. So now Houston would get the ball on their own 17-yard line after the kickoff with a little over six minutes left to play, down by 21 points. And on first and 10, Kenneth Farrell ran nine yards, but then he lost eight yards on second and one. So now it's third and nine from the 18, and Greg Ward Jr. hit Kenneth Farrell for a 43-yard reception. It was now a first down in Pittsburgh territory at the 39. Greg Ward Jr. then went to Mark Keith Ambles. He picked up 32, and it was now first and goal on the seven. Then on second and goal from the eight, Greg Ward Jr. dropped back and he hit Deontay Greenberry for an eight-yard touchdown. And it was now a 14-point game with the score Pittsburgh 34, Houston 20. Houston then went for the onside kick and they recovered. And so now they had the ball on their own 48. But they got a holding penalty that moved them back to their own 38. But on first down, first and 20 from the 38, Greg Ward Jr. hit Mark Keith Ambles. He picked up 23 in the first down in Pittsburgh territory at the 39. Greg Ward Jr. then went back to Mark Keith Ambles. He picked up 13 in the first down on the 26. They were then faced with a third and 13. An incomplete pass would bring out... Well, actually, they didn't go for the field goal. They elected to go for it, so it's now 4th and 13 on the 29. Greg Ward Jr. drops back, and he hit DeMarcus Ayers for a 29-yard touchdown. So now on 4th and 13, they go for it, get the touchdown, and it was now a 7-point game with the score Pittsburgh 34, Houston 27. So now Houston would go for another onside kick with just two minutes on the clock, and they recovered again. So Houston recovers two onside kicks in a row, and now they had the ball on their own 43. And on first down, Greg Ward Jr. hit Deontay Greenberry for a 38-yard reception. It was now a first down in the red zone at the Pittsburgh 19. But they got a penalty for a false start. They moved backwards. And then they were faced with a third and 16 from the 25. Greg Ward Jr. drops back and he hit Deontay Greenberry for a 25-yard touchdown. Then they decided to go for two points. And Greg Ward Jr. went back to Deontay Greenberry and the conversion was successful. So now the Cougars were up by one point. They had trailed by 25 and now they were in the lead with the score Houston 35, Pittsburgh 34. So now Pittsburgh would get the ball on their own 27 after the kickoff with about a minute left on the clock. They were faced with a third and two and an incomplete pass would bring up fourth and two from the 35. But then a pass interference call against Houston would give the Panthers life as they would their drive would continue. They were now on the 50-yard line for a first down and an incomplete pass on first down, an incomplete pass on second down, an incomplete pass on third down. Now it's fourth down and 10 on the 50. Chad Wojtek dropped back in a fourth incomplete pass in a row. Turns the ball over on downs as the Cougars take over. And all that was left to do was for Houston to take a knee in the victory formation as they pull off the amazing comeback in the Armed Forces Bowl. Coming all the way back from 25 points down to win by one with the final score. Houston 35, Pittsburgh 34. So Houston with an amazing comeback. So they scored 29 points in the fourth quarter. So they had the four touchdowns plus that two-point conversion. And what a gamble to go for the two when they could have tied it up and sent it to overtime, but instead they decided to roll with it, and they got the two-point conversion. They go up by one, and they hold on to win. Of course, those two big onside kicks that they recovered 
were <laughs> tremendous. And so in this game, Gary, Greg Ward Jr. was 15 for 24. He had 274 passing yards and three touchdowns. He also had 14 carries for 92 rushing yards. Chad Wojtek was 18 for 35 with 222 passing yards and a touchdown. He also had six carries for 40 yards on the ground. The game's leading rusher was Kenneth Farrow. He had 22 carries for 103 yards and a touchdown. He also had two receptions for 42 yards. James Conner had 21 carries for 90 yards and two touchdowns. That was for Pittsburgh. And for Houston, their leading receiver was Deontay Greenberry. He had four receptions for 85 yards and two touchdowns. Mark Keith Ambles had three receptions for 68 yards. The game's leading receiver was for the Panthers. Tyler Boyd had nine receptions for 112 yards. And Kevin Weatherspoon had three receptions for 46 yards. And J.P. Holtz had three receptions for 33 yards and a touchdown. So quite an amazing game. The Panthers were in control heading into the fourth quarter. They were up by 18, and they scored a touchdown just over a minute into the fourth to go up by 25. But in the final 11 minutes of this game, Houston puts up 29 points and holds the Panthers to just three over that stretch, outscoring them 29-3 to to come back from down 25 to win by one. It's an amazing comeback in the Armed Forces Bowl with a final score, Houston 35, Pittsburgh 34.